an update on the blueberries. I have already some ripe, <clears throat> and I just caught the uh, mama woodchuck uh, trying out some. She was on the green, she was on one of those over there, the green planters, and uh, I do see damage. I had caught a little grasshopper from here, and they always, uh, yeah, they always do their thing. I uh, I hunt them down when I water. Sometimes I spray spray the foliage. Sometimes I don't like to because of the spiders. I let let a bunch of spiders nest here and uh, these these are Chippewas and uh, those were the first ones ripened and the uh, pink this is the pink lemonade they're looking a little like they're gonna be actually pink I've had them Ripen no, no more color than that last year, and I know they were ripe because they were going soft. These are kind of bigger this year. Just had one drop. Yeah, this, this is damage from the uh, from those bugs. The. Uh, <coughs> little grasshoppers are spot around here. Uh, I have to do some weeding on them. <laughs> but those are the ripe ones, the Chippewa. These are high bush that are not ripe yet. And these have a lot more fruit. They're more, way more productive. This is a peach cobbler though this variety here. They have a distinctive, much distinctive flavor uh, than the uh, usual. My, yeah, these, these high bush can get really loaded. And uh, this one, this one shot up really really tall that's being weighed down now by all the fruit it has uh, <clears throat> have to have to do some staking on it it has a lot a lot just dangling off from the fruit overload Use some steaks. It's still not uh, not good enough. It's another one of the high bush. Uh, lemon not looking great. Has like about seven lemons on it. Orange shot out a few more, a uh, few more flowers there. I think I've seen a couple little oranges somewhere. This is a raspberry, uh, yellow Ann. Already has has a few, a few ripe. Decent amount coming on those. So yeah, the the cage for the blueberries is not happening this year. I'm gonna leave that alone. Uh, let's see, I got I got a bunch dropped here. These these are probably something pecking at them. They're not right.
This is this is the cage which I'm not gonna use. Uh, takes a beating over the winter with all the leaves and got to redo the mesh and all that probably won't even make it out of there without ruining some stuff and uh, I don't want to deal with it I got some mesh bags like the one Peter Stanley used he showed uh, not too long ago I'm gonna cover some of these up and try to keep some of the birds out hey there's uh, this is my friend Jax. What's up, fella? So yeah, no, uh, no, no cage for the blueberries this year. We're gonna share with some birds, I guess. And looks like there's enough. I have to uh, keep on top of the picking as they ripen, I guess. Already let some. Some hoppers have some. This mama woodchuck was uh, eating some blueberries. I just spotted her. She was reaching up over there at the. Uh... Oh, there she is. I'm gonna catch her and take her to take her with the other one, Squirrel Island. Not bad. A little more than I expected to pick from that uh, little bit. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next one.